Hey everyone, today I'm going to run you through how to set up your own domain name emails on Gmail. So Gmail, as you know, is a free G uh, email solution. Um, however, Google have a paid solution as well, which basically you can set up your own domain name on G Suite and receive emails through that as well. However, that does come at a cost and Google do host the emails for you. And Gmail, how that works is obviously you get a Gmail dot, uh, at gmail.com account and that's free and you see ads and all that sort of stuff. What we what you can do though is if you'd prefer to use Gmail to receive your domain emails, you still can, but you have to do a couple of things with the setup to make it work exactly how you want to. So I'm going to run you through setting up a new Gmail account, a free Gmail account, linking up a domain email to there, and then making sure that when you reply to those emails, that they actually go to uh, they they go to your customer or to whoever's emailed you with your business domain name. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new account on Gmail, and I'm just going to call it uh, Mr. Digital AU at gmail.com. And that doesn't work, so I'll just uh, do this one, Sean, Mr. Digital at gmail.com. And uh, I will then put uh, my date of birth. And I'll put my gender and next. Accept all these conditions, and we should then be directed to a brand new Gmail account. Okay, awesome. So I have a brand new Gmail account and what I want to do is make my business domain names come through there. So what you can do is click on settings on the top right hand corner and then, oh sorry, click on the cog and then click on settings. And then you want to go to accounts and import. Now what you want to do there is you want to add an email account. Now what this is going to do is add an email account which is set up on your web host. So firstly, you need to get the credentials for your email address that is set up on your web host. So I'm going to go onto my web host, which is using cPanel. And I'm going to log into my account. And I'm going to go to email accounts. And as you can see, I have two email accounts here, but I'm going to create a brand new one. And I'm just going to call it Sean at webdesign101.net. This is just one of my test domain names. And we'll do a password. Cool. Okay, so we have Sean at webdesign101.net. We have one gigabyte of space, but it doesn't really matter how much space because we're going to be setting it up on Gmail to remove the emails off our host once it's received. So what you can do now that we have the credentials, go to add an email account, type in the email account or email address, click on next. And then it's going to say uh, you can either import or link using Gmailify. I'm not exactly sure what Gmailify is, but we'll just do import from my other account, POP3. Now you want to put your uh, username as your email address and then your password obviously as your password. Make sure that the POP3 settings are correct. You can do that in cPanel by going to uh, connect devices and it will actually give you the credentials. So you'll see that uh, incoming is 995. So let's just go back to this. So we'll do incoming 995. Don't tick leave a message on the message on the server. You can if you want to, but if you do, then that means that over time your hosting will clog up with all these emails and it could potentially run out of space. So just untick that so that it deletes that. Make sure you use a, a secure SSL connection. That's if your host is an SSL. So you might have to fiddle around with that just to make it work. You can label the incoming messages as your, that email address so that you there's like a folder or a label with that, all the emails that have gone to that email address. And then just click on add account. So that should connect to your host and it should verify that all these settings are correct. And as you can see, it's now been added. And now uh, Gmail asks if we want to be able to send mail as that email address and we do want to. So we'll click on next and you can put the name that you want people to see when they receive an email from you. So let's just whatever. Um, now 
you can also treat it as an alias. So if we actually have a look what an alias is, um, to be honest, I wouldn't even worry about what an alias is. Let's just have that ticked, go next step. And now it wants to ask to send emails through our server. So Gmail unfortunately won't be handling the sending either. We need to make sure that we send through our hosting as well. So look at our outgoing server, which is 465. Sorry about this. So we will do port 465. It's secured using SSL. And you just want to use the same details again. And there we go. What's going to happen now is you're going to get an email to your actual email address on your host and you need to then access that so you can verify that this email is okay. So in cPanel, we have access to uh, webmail. So you could just go check webmail, go to Roundcube or whichever email program you want and just wait for the email from Gmail. As you can see, the email has come in from Gmail and we'll click on that and we'll just click on this link to confirm. Okay, so now that it's been confirmed, we should be able to refresh our Gmail and in our settings, we should see that we have the other email address set up and you can also make it default. So if you make that default, that means that emails will always uh, be sent from this email address. You can also make sure when you reply to a message that the email address, it will reply from the email address that the email was sent to. Okay, so I'm going to do a test now. I'm going to delete all of these emails and I'm going to send an email to Sean at webdesign101.net. I'm just doing it on my other screen and I've just sent it. So we'll just wait and see if that comes in. One thing you do have to, uh, I guess, understand with this setup is that Gmail is not going to check your email straight away. It probably checks every few minutes. So Gmail will just connect to your web hosting email address, grab all the emails from it and then display it. But you'll notice that when someone emails you, you and they might be like, I've just emailed you, please check your email and you haven't received it. And that's because Gmail only checks it uh, after a certain amount of time, maybe every five minutes or so, or every two minutes. I'm, I can't give you an exact figure, but uh, yeah. The email will definitely come through. Let's just wait for it and see how long it takes. If you do want to speed up the process, you can go to settings and then you can go to accounts and import and then you can click check mail now and that will manually check the email. Otherwise, you just have to wait for Gmail to do its thing. So if we go to the inbox, we should see that the email that I just sent came through and if I click reply, it will actually reply from Sean at webdesign101.net as well. Obviously, you can go into settings and you can go to uh, signatures and you can create a signature for each uh, email address. So if I then go to my inbox and I hit reply to this, you'll notice that my signature, well, my signature didn't come up there for some reason. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, and that's it. So that's how you make your domain emails work on Gmail for free that would eliminate your need to actually access, use Microsoft Outlook or anything like that. You could just use all your emails on here and they'll get stored and you'll have no problem with backups. The only thing though is that you only get 15 gigabytes of storage. So you could potentially just change the setup when you run out of space to another Gmail account, or you could just invest in G Suite, which I use and is a fantastic solution. Thank you very much. Hope it helped.